What do you think? <laughs> it's been seven weeks from when I was last up here. And today we've got Jason coming up to help me put up the, the fence around the perimeter of this yard. If it all works out, we're going to also put the gates on and do the derail fence up at the entrance. Guys, from us last here, there's been a lot of rainfall and the water is coming. I measured it yesterday. It's 0.2 of a mile up there to the top of the hill and it's running right down the edge of the road and it's causing erosion. It's also getting into the field and it's flooding the upper section of this field here. I have already been speaking to my friend Trevor, the guy that dug the drain for me. We're going to put a drain there into the field, bring it out into the entrance and put a manhole here to catch the water. Now I already have bought the three risers that the, the manhole will sit on. That'll be flush with the road. We're going to pipe it from the manhole at the edge of the road down into the start of the vegetable garden. 90 right down, I'll show you. Turn a 90 right and go this way. And this section here is where the drain is going down the long, along the back edge and into the stream. There's gravel going about three feet from here, out that way. Don't ask me the name, this is a creeping grass. And look, at every leaf node, like here, 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 and here, there are roots. Look. going to have to open up the ends of this to get it onto the first post. This is all new to me. Should be fun. Steep learning curve. Guys, at the point of making this video, we have upwards of 800 subscribers. Now I know through being the creator, like we can see who, what type of people, you don't see, we don't know your details, but we know, I can tell that 90 something percent of you is male, you are 80% is from the UK and Ireland, 10% from Australia, which is lovely to see you. Dudes, hit the subscribe button, doesn't cost you anything. Get this thing monetized get it monetized i might be able to spend more time up here less time working a second job to pay for the the materials it will all go back into this because that's what farming's all about spending money not making money that's what they talk about anyway right let's get this done and then i'll come back to you I've taken three vertical strands out of this. Should allow me enough to get round. Still be a wee bit neat, but I've realized the posts, the holes are getting smaller. The bottom one, two, three, three and a bit. They get progressively bigger, bigger openings as they get up. So I'm gonna have to carry that fence, that wire down there and reel it this way because I want the, I want the fence to be on the outside, I think it'll look a bit neater. A bit neater from this side, the bit that we see, not worry about the sheep or the all the other animals. Let me explain to you why it's been seven weeks. Jason has been very busy and he's also putting a kitchen in his house. So I didn't really want to disturb him. I mean no panic now anyway. May as well wait the spring to get the sheep. So, right, let's get this tied up. I do like making it awkward for myself, don't I? First go, not one angle brace, but two. But we've got it now. 
let's roll it out and hopefully Jason's in me back because we're eating in the daylight. I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. It's working. And it's getting lighter, which is always a plus. Look who showed up. The guy with the wire puller. We have the three longest strips done. Need to get them done because it's going to be tight for wire. We might have to make a joint. To do it in the smaller section it doesn't matter so much. So I'm keeping with this. I have Jason now. He's pushing in wire or stone into the, along this edge. It was a bit lower from from we were digging out for creating the entrance. You don't want the sheep escaping out from underneath. Well, I'm going to do the rest of this and then. Thumbs up, good job. Then we're going to go up to the upper field, the fence between the two, and put a bit over it. Make it look pretty. I 
always looking to do nice knots in this fence but we don't have the time to do them it was 10 o'clock before we started and he has to be out of here by a quarter to four so it's about lunch time now I'm hoping we don't stop even for a tea break we'll eat when we're when it's dark but guys it's not easy I'm putting nails in every one here I'm backing it up with another roll here and then I'm just winding this up just to hold it somewhere neat I was looking I would have liked to do nicer knots and this should have been on the inside and then you tighten it up but we don't have time and the nails should hold it not ideal sorry professional fencers but this is what we've got we've only got two hours left before we're working in the dark and I want to get this finished because I've already waited for seven weeks for him to get the, out here to do this and it'll be just it'll never happen if I don't get it this side of Christmas so it'll look alright anyway right I've got Jason to dig a wee bit across here to get these pipes laid lower with the idea of eventually of filling like I said earlier, I'm going to put the drain from out there. I'm going to drain this upper field, end it here, meet the gully, and go that way, and then down towards his jeep to meet the outlet. Right, I'm going to get Jason to loosen them posts. The one he's on, and this one, next one closer here, with the idea that we straighten them up in line with the barbed wire the barbed wire is going down the bottom of this hammer to this big strainer post and then it goes across at an angle into them other two He's even impressed. <laughs> and that's why you need hydraulics, not hydraulics.
looking a bit neater now folks right there where he's at there's a bit of a low spot i've asked jason just to pull it up just to fill in the, that gap because don't want anything escaping Folks, the wire going from there across, you seen it was this much too short. So what we did, I still have the old wire running up along that fence line. So we've took this one, we're bringing a 90 down to here, filling this gap. It all needs to be filled anyway. It's just working out better. Stay positive, folks. Fencing. Folks, it's the next morning. You can see what we got done. We were under pressure. We had only from 10 a.m. To, to, he was leaving at 4 p.m. And he had a flat tire in the middle of it and had to go get that fixed. It's just the way it is, fortunately. Let me show you what we got done. We put in fence over here, bringing it this way. We had to use the, the fence that was there, the original fence, and bring it back to here. And the two's joined here. This bit here is the bit that originally, the new wire that we started from here, we come to here, brought it 90 round, and didn't get time to put it onto there. As far as putting this fencing on, I wasn't feeling it yesterday. Here's what we did. I was originally planning on putting a barbed wire strand across the bottom, and go three inches above that, and for the bottom of the mesh, and build it up that way, and put one on top. That would have brought us, up to about here the plan changed and that's what happens when you change change it while you're doing it it all goes to you see here it's level it's tight nothing's going to escape but you've probably watched me long enough now to know i'm a wee bit fussy i wasn't originally planning on using nails I was looking to tie it the way, the way the professionals do it, but nails are hard to do. It's not going to go nowhere anyway. Just if a wire was to break, chances of something breaking, I'm not going to have hundreds of cattle running around, around the pens. It's going to be a handful of sheep. And hopefully everything will be trained to be within electric fencing. So this is like this. I'm going to have to tie this around to, again. But if you look along here, each post is about 16 inches above the height of the wire. Jason had said we could put two strands of barbed wire on the top, which will be fine. It'll give us it'll give us more height. Let me show you something else we missed. There's a hanger. I'll show it to you. It goes round and it goes in here. Where the wood is for the battens holding on the end of the fence it goes down to the bottom and it stops here if we put two strands of barbed wire on the top there's nothing to fix it to so we're going to have to add in an extra piece or cut that one out and put a bigger one in between me there's no diagonal brace there's a reason this isn't under that much tension. The reason why it's on here, Jason says, you put that in the wrong side. I didn't. I plan to run electric fencing along the edge of this perimeter. At least three strands. So that's where that bit there comes in. Behind me, we see posts are, that's where I'm going to put the compost bins. I'm going to do it out of pallets just so that I can get the process started now. Um, I was going to hang the gates, the octo gates, but the octo gate. These are sprung, and they're obviously if were for a round gate. I've made up a tool that I should be able to pry the space these back, open them up, with the idea of sliding them in. 
we were hope i was hoping it was a bit optimistic now but i was hoping to get the two gates on and also the d-rail up there i've got the fencing boards we just jason said he's going to have to come back because he hasn't given me it Jason says he's going to have to come back because he owes me he owes me an extra day, so I'm going to take it. I'm not going to argue with him when he get it for nothing, me. Eh? Guys, I'm not going to be able to get much more done this year. Today is the 1st of December 2022. Moving forward into 2023, the goal is to... I'm going to buy a shipping container. A 20 foot would be okay. I'm probably going to end up buying a... If you're going to buy a 20 foot, why would you not buy a 40 foot? It's only another five or six hundred pound more. I'm going to put it in here, and we're going to get a base set up in this yard so that we can keep tools and keep things and, and get the ball rolling. These short days are a bugger. We have the gate to go in. We have the compost bins to go in. Up at the top, we have to secure that piece of fence. Moving down to the bottom here, we have another gate to go in. I'll probably make a gate there at some stage. I have the concrete post for it. Once we get that all done, we'll be planning on putting electric fencing right around the perimeter. And by that stage, I'll probably have saved up enough money to be able to buy a few sheep. Next year, I plan to have sheep cut the grass, chickens for meat, chickens for eggs, and we'll see what else happens with these other two fingers, finger and thumb. <laughs> Folks, today is the 1st of December. You're probably going to watch this video. Christmas. Happy Christmas. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Show your support. Get in there, especially if you have a Google account. All you have to do is hit subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. Right, until the next one, see you in the field.